This video talks about how vaccines work. Now, what is the basic premise of a vaccine? It creates a reaction in our body without causing any harm. Now, often vaccines are made with an immunogen attached to a haptin. What does that really mean? Before we get onto it, let's talk about what is an immunogen. An immunogen is anything that the body recognizes as foreign, where a haptin is also foreign, but it's so small that the body cannot recognize it. A lot of the times, bacteria are immunogens, viruses are haptins. Now, how can we make vaccines for something that, the, that we can't even see, the body can't even see? But we have so many vaccines against viruses. Now, how does, how does it happen? How does it come about? Now, let's take a visual representation of what I'm talking about. If this blue thing, the blue blob here, is an immunogen, Let's say this is an immunogen, a bacteria. The body will recognize it. But a haptid by itself, let's say a virus, the body is, it's so small that the body does not recognize it. What if this haptin was attached to our immunogen like that? Now the body will recognize this immunogen. At the same time, the body will recognize this haptin because it's attached to this immunogen. If I can make an analogy of the situation, it's like, let's say there is a kid in class who's so quiet, so small, sits at the back, you almost don't even realize he's there. He's almost invisible. Here in this case, that invisible kid is this Hapton, where there is another kid in class who is very notorious, always making noise, always creating some trouble. You recognize him instantly, and that is our immunogen. Now let's say suddenly this invisible kid starts hanging out with this notorious kid. Even if you see this invisible kid alone somewhere, you're still going to recognize him and see him that, oh, he is that kid who used to be quiet and now he is with this immunogen and now they, you see them more. So that is pretty much the effect that vaccines do in our body. What they do is... They attach the haptin with the immunogen together. And once they're together, the body sees them together. The body not only recognizes the immunogen, the body also recognizes the haptin. So imagine this is the combination of the immunogen and the haptin together. It's taken by the antibody of the macrophage. It trickles down the system. It enters into the macrophage. It gets digested. It is presented to our T cells. This yellow blob is our T cell with them together. The T cell picks it up with the T cell receptor. This yellow lining, this yellow hand here is the T cell receptor. The T cell now, as the B cells, now imagine this is the B cell, to make antibodies against not only the immunogen but also the haptin. Now, this is not causing any illness in our body because this immunogen and this haptin is inactivated. You also remember that macrophages release something called IL-1, which is a pyrogen or something that causes fever. Now, this is the reason when macrophages gets activated, it not only makes the direct connection with the T cells, it also releases IL-1, which also activates more and more T cells that it cannot make a direct connection with. That's why when vaccines are given in, to children, they often have fever because IL-1 is a pyrogen. Now let's talk about what if you see that haptin alone in our body, or what if you see after vaccination, you see that haptin floating around not with an immunogen. It will probably not create uh, enough recognition before the vaccination, but after vaccination, vaccination the body will be, be able to recognize that haptin even if it's floating around in, this, in the system. Now imagine this is our haptin right here. It should be in green. Imagine this is our haptin without any immunogen. This haptin is going to be picked up by the macrophages, digested, passed on to the system. It trickles down the system, 
and the B cells will eventually make antibodies. It's only for that haptin. So that's how vaccines work for haptins or viruses which are too small to be recognized by itself but once it makes those antibodies being attached to the immunogen it can or it has the ability to make more and more antibodies when it sees that happen alone in the future.